right guys so as the the crew was looking for some mushrooms I saw something scurrying around on the, the forest floor so this is one that you can add to your wildlife checklist for um, Ashton Wildwood Park and this is a pretty common snake here in Iowa called a garter snake uh, a lot of kids when we point these out or find them or talk about them uh, they call them a gardener snake and you may very well find them in a garden at your house uh, but they're actually called a garter snake like a woman's garter um, um, on her wedding day. And if you look at the, the design on the side of the snake, on their scales, um, it kind of has that lacy pattern um, or coloration on their, their scale. So that's where their, their name came from. And these guys are really beneficial. They, they will sometimes eat um, something as big as a toad. I actually found a garter snake that had, uh, had a toad in its mouth and had a hard time getting it down, but eventually did. Uh, but they'll eat little insects and worms and things like that. So they're, they're a beneficial um, animal to have in your woodlands. And we're gonna go ahead and turn this one loose and, and have a good day here during the spring, so. All right, we found, as we're looking for our bluebells here, we found a eastern gray tree frog. He's pretty slimy. He's running around looking for bugs. So he's pretty cool. I can feel him on me. He's super sticky, so he can stick to things, um, climb foot. up and down. So Show the foot if you can he's pretty cool. Section. So yeah, you can see his feet. See it on my white shirt pretty well. He's got almost suction cup type feet. So he he's really really good at climbing and sticking to things. He likes my watch there. He can stick to it really well. So he's pretty cool. So here's another one that you guys can add to your wildlife list for our phenology wheel. Um, hopefully you can see this. I'll try to get close before it uh, flies away. But this butterfly right here is called a red admiral butterfly. And you can see it has some streaks of orange and some white spots on it. And the rest of the, the body itself is kind of a blackish color. So there's, there's a red admiral. <laughs> yeah, I finished standing up because I had a freaking bald faced hornet nest underneath my deck. Yeah. That was the first year we lived there. So this one right here we believe is some sort of a solitary bee. Uh, when we get back to the office we'll pull the guide out and try to figure out which one this, this bee is. And you guys can add it to your wildlife list. All right, we have hiked down a dead end trail at Ashton and we come to a little viewing area here. It's um, kind of like a little blind with a bench where we encourage people to sit and just enjoy um, the sights and sounds out here at the park. Uh, we have a beautiful view, the creeks down below. You can see the really steep hills and valleys out here. And this is a great time of year because the leaves are just starting to come out of their buds and we can still see clear through the, the woods over here on the, on the far side of those of those hills now in just in just a few weeks um, these leaves will all come out it'll be quite shady and dark out here and it'll be really hard to see farther back into the woods so to to spot the birds that are, are migrating back here uh, to Iowa to spot deer and other wildlife um, this is really a great time of year to be out here and uh, earlier I mentioned the the glacier that kind of carved out all the hills and valleys um, this is a great viewpoint of um, some of the really steep hills that we have out here and uh, you guys can just imagine maybe a time when we had uh, woolly mammoths and giant ground sloths and mastodons roaming around our area um, and some of the surrounding areas and creeks like Indian Creek people have found some bones from some of those animals uh, that were here during the ice age so some pretty cool things a lot of neat neat history out here. Uh, I like to think of Ashton as sort of our outdoor natural history museum. This woods has been here for so long and there's so many neat things to see and learn about out here. Um, a lot of really cool history. 
Um, also, while you sit here um, and you're, you're listening to the birds, we do have a couple bird feeders down here, and you can, you can just sit and watch and see what stops by the bird feeders. Um, you never know what might show up. We have a lot of woodpeckers, nuthatches, um, we were just hearing some blue jays and cardinals, and uh, maybe get some birds crossed off your bird list while you watch.